So today we're back in our project area in a cove over here in Tennessee and we discovered a cave about three years ago that we did some modification to get into and we're coming back to it today to survey it because we believe it connects to another nearby cave. So join along with us today as we go in this cave and we survey it and see where it's trending. So here is the entrance to the cave. There we go. There's the entrance right there. Everything I need. I want to be. This is all I'm bringing in the hole. So we're going to go in this cave and we're going to go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the back and then survey our way out. It'll probably be dark when we come out today. Yeah, I just don't like them. Because they look like a simple knot. Yeah. Uh, so today Jason's using a micro rack. Ooh, you feel that warm air blowing out now? No. I don't feel anything with this cave suit on. So this cave is actually blowing warm air out right now. It's probably, what, 40 degrees outside here and about 58 degrees inside the cave. So it's going to be nice and cozy in the cave compared to outdoors. So we are in the bottom of this pit, which is about 70 feet deep. There's the entrance up there. And over there where Jason is, that's where we're gonna go. That's the passage that we modified so humans could fit through it. And then there's two more drops that we've gotta go down. So this whole passage we modified, it was a tiny, tiny little crack.
see evidence of our modification. Yeah. Evidence. Evidence where the rock is gone. Mm -hmm. You can see where we drilled. I drill a hole there. I think somebody has to hand me. You can see gear. all of our yeah. drill marks. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll come up to you. I've got to go through. I hear the echo. Let me know when I can come up to you. So now we got to crawl through this tight ass area. Woo! -hoo! Jason up there is he's at the next pit. We are we are at the next drop. Jason's rigged in. I've got a safety on the rope and he's going to go down. What's this about a 20 foot pit? Yeah. It's a little fast. Say 15 maybe so that's what we just came through to get onto this rope a little tight crawl way yeah it's like an inch at a time <laughs> So that is where we just I just rappelled down from, and Sean is on rope now, and he's going to come down, and then it immediately goes into another drop. Um, but we've also got a pretty big dome room right here, and then here's something else really neat. A little bath. Okay, so this is the dome room. Probably about 60 foot tall, but we'll know that for sure today when we shoot a disto laser up there and get some measurements. Um, but as of today, uh, Sean makes the fifth person to have ever been in this cave. Jason is over there calibrating our survey instrument. So when we get down to the bottom and start our survey out, it'll be accurate. I'm off the rope. So Jason's going to come down this next drop. This drop may be about 30 to 40 feet.
told you, it's a little fast. It's muddy. There's a big leaf going on right there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Check out this really cool fossil. There is a cave salamander. Horrible, horrible, tight canyon passage. This cave doesn't get any better. No. <laughs> Jason said we're up in my game today. Yes, we definitely are. So this is cool. These are helictites. A little formation growing there. This is what we call a horror hole. So there it is. That's our clue that we know this cave connects to another cave because we've modified this cave to get into this passage. And so we know no one had entered into this cave in the route that we just came. But then we found this piece of torn webbing. So we know somebody has been in here before um, from another way. So that's why we're trying to connect this cave to another cave, but it's still a horror hole. Here we go. Looks like shit down there. It all looks like shit. But it's worthy of a map, of a survey. I would sketch that into the lead. Next generation, small fuckers. So here what looks to be the remains from a rat. Hey, hey, uh, Harold. Yep. We just need to get to where we can start surveying our way out. Yep. Before you start pushing stuff. So we finally made it all the way to the end of this passage where there's a ton of air, so much air. You can see the water moving. Can't really feel it on camera, but trust me, there is wind blowing in my face. So we're gonna start the survey here and survey out while Harold pushes some upper passages because I don't believe there's any way that anyone ever came through that shit right there. It's just way too low. That's what we're doing. What are we doing? Horror hole. Look how tight this passage is. It just feels as wide as it is the whole fucking way. <laughs> Let's see. There's that lead down there. Just I'll show you. Now, this is not the best survey conditions, but we're going to start the survey. Let's go. So, we've started our survey and we're actually just doing a line plot. So, we're using our instrument here and we're shooting our stations. So we're setting our stations with wide out, and again, we're just doing a line plot today so we can see where this cave is trending. We're surveying it. Well, we're surveying it, but we're... We're surveying a horror hole. This is what you do. There's nothing to draw. You just fucking survey. Well, Let's just go. Thank you. Thank you for that, Jason. Thank yeah. you. That's wonderful. Thank you. That's what I feel right now. <laughs> Let's see. Get up here to our next survey station. So we're moving kind of fast through this survey today, so I can't show you guys everything. Okay, there. Hold on, I can't see. Oh, let me get my laser again. Come on. Oh, uh, no. It's... 
I can't see, I can't get my head around the corner to see where I'm shooting. I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I can't. Hold on, let me get in front of it. Yeah. There you go. Bust out that old school. Am I on the station? Yes. Oh, there you go, right? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that's very uncomfortable. Got it. 10.7, 26.7, 0.5. Did you get that one? I did. Just tell me when you're ready for numbers, Jason. So this is our instrument. It's called the brick. And it does our distance, azimuth, and our inclination. 5.0. Okay. 338.0. 8.7. Just to show you guys how wonderful this passage is. Yeah, I saw it. How are you doing this? this? Oh. All that big fucking rock's in the way. We'll move it. And go. All right, 6.2. 104.7, 8.0. Okay. Water, yeah. Wet cave or horror cave? This is definitely horror cave. All this stuff, all this is very grabby. It's like grabby, with grabby. razor blades. It's a good way to put it. Caving with razor blades. Stick down the wall with Velcro everywhere. Your next numbers are... A whopping 3.7 feet, 180 degrees, and your inclination is 20, positive 28.5. So we use wide out when setting our stations because it's not permanent. We've done 43 stations so far. There's a lot of pain going on in this cave today. Pain maker cave. No, there's no pain. Nobody's talking. <laughs> what can you say? I've got a lot to say. <laughs> and it's going in my head right now. Yeah. Here comes our sketcher. How many stations have we shot so far? 69. What? -huh. Did you just make that up? No, that's Oh, oh all right, that's been. We got Sean up here and then Harold's going way up there. Supposed to be cloudy out there. This cave is so wonderful. If you haven't figured that out by now. There you go. Pretty <laughs> um, Hold on, Jason. Really, this cave really helps me. Numbers. Yes. 4.4. 4. 
146.6, negative 52. On to the next station. So this is what's called a helictite formation. It's pretty cool because it grew out and then it's going up. Nowhere's wider. Uh, I can kind of do it on my belly. Your survey station's right there. Sorry, we can't really show you guys a lot of survey. This one's pretty shitty. Okay, so we're finished with that shit passage down there. We're back at the uh, first climb, first first pit from the bottom up. So we're going to get some survey in this room and see where we're at. So one other thing I was going to show was this other fossil on the floor. You're standing over it. Right there, there's a second one of these fossils in here. So we just did our next station from this station to over there so we can work our way out of this cave with our line plot. We're back at this bitch of a crawl and Jason's over there at the pit and he's getting his gear off to come through. Just to show you again, evidence of our rock modification. Ooh. These are our survey stations. Which way is the best way to get out of here? There ain't no best way. Well, what's that? We're gonna listen to Jason Bitch coming through this. Damn it. That's the hardest part, getting over that out of the lid. Hold on, I can grab it. I can grab it right there. <clears throat> I got dirt. That's not good. No, nope, dirt in your eyes, not good. go far because I got this next survey station right in front of me. I don't care. So this cave's so wonderful. Okay. See all this evidence of rock modification. Progressing the survey out of this horror hole. Ow! This is the blast 
last block. More modification. You can see where we drilled to modify this cave. It was rat size. Now it, it's semi-human size. <laughs> Semi. Fucking four hole. For a rat. See, way worse. Alright, there's the big room. Woohoo! He says he can see the big room! Oh. What do y'all have in my pack? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, we progressed all the packs forward. Sometimes caving's not all pretty. This is one of those caves. This cave makes you feel alive. Amen, brother. This cave makes you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like it wants to eat you. It reawakens. Smells like the entrance to a pit. We're finally back in the entrance room. Here comes Jason. Fuck. <sighs> Last pit. What we what was this one like 72 feet? Something? 70 feet? 70 feet. I didn't bring mine today either. See, it pulls the rope through this thing when I stand real effectively. Was it dark out? No. It was though. I'm finishing this. This cave's number one. Number one. <laughs> My most favorite cave. Number one. <laughs> it's my new okay, favorite. So I just climbed out, got out of my gear. It's freezing cold out here. We finished the survey of this horror hole so we can see where it's going. Now we're just waiting on Sean and Jason. Oh yeah, there we go. Now you can see all the steam. So this cave is blowing all this air out. It's probably about 35 degrees out here and it's about 58 inside that cave. So that's the cave breathing. You can see it. So just another angle showing the cave breathing again. Blowing out all that warm air. And there comes Jason. Now we just gotta coil the rope and get off this mountainside. There no leaves in my coil, man. Oh, sorry.
That is a massive tree. Well, that took us about 30 minutes to hike down. I saw it. Hot patty. That's wrong. All right, we are back at the truck. So thanks for joining us on this hardcore caving trip today where we surveyed this cave. If you like the content, like and subscribe for more caving here in the tag region known as Tennessee, Alabama, and Georgia.